What's up good people, Mark Holmes here and as always I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that it literally does not work. I might be a little bit short tonight. It's kind of windy, it's actually warm out, but it's kind of windy, the flyers, fire's going all over the place and um, I've had a few to drink tonight. You know, 26 fucking years. 26 fucking years I have been waiting for the Cowboys to get their shit together. 26 years. I'm 56. That's almost half of my fucking life. Excuse my language here. Kitties, please go to bed. Uh, you know, we, we grown folks are talking right now. Grown folks are talking. I realized a couple of things today, and I'm a little pissed off right now. And I guess I'm mad at the world, and, and maybe I don't have the right to be, but, you know, some of y'all, in fact, some of you actually have your YouTube Facebook profile as Simba. Simba was our dog and you know people have lost a lot more than their pet I've lost my brother a year and a half ago less than a year and a half ago tonight Simba we woke up this morning and Simba who has had some ailments had seizures violent seizures that literally just not only took the life out of him, took the life out of me. And tonight he was euthanized. And some of y'all will remember live streams where Simba, see, the funny thing about Simba was this. I swear Simba was a reincarnated boyfriend of my wife's. Because anytime I hugged my wife, Simba was right there. Rah, 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 rah. Cock blocking. A lot of times when I come down and live, because normally Simba would not give a rat's ass about me unless I was live streaming. Simba, Simba would come down and he'd be right there like, hey, I want to be on the camera too. Simba taught me something over the course of the last month. Simba had hypoglycemia, which is like a pituitary gland that doesn't know what the hell to do. It's putting out too much calcium or not enough calcium. And the fix would be a surgery and then, of course, trying to monitor his calcium and, and everything. It was just too much. It was too much. And so Simba, we tried other treatments and stuff that they had for him and things. And Simba was doing okay. He gained some more weight back. Every time, this is what's crazy because of the course of the last month, Simba, when we would go for a walk, would literally run. It's like, Simba, slow the fuck down, man. I got bad knees. Slow down. Roscoe would stop to go to use the bathroom. Simba would stop and he'd start, bah, 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 start barking. I believe Simba knew that his time was short. And he wanted to get as much in in the time that he had left. He didn't want to waste his time waiting for another dog, you know, cocking his leg up on another plant. He was literally just running, just running, running like crazy. And even just a couple of days ago, we went for a walk, two mile walk. And he's still running like crazy. When we take him back to the vet, the vet would say, I can't believe he's still alive. I can't believe he's still alive. Simba took every minute of his life and made it meaningful. Every minute. We can all take a lesson from that dog. That even though he would have a seizure this morning, and while we were trying to figure out what to do, 
he would come out of it and still try and do things. He did not waste a moment of his time. He was laser focusing on, I'm going to smell as much stuff as I can smell. It might be dog pee. It might be dog poop. But I'm going to smell as much as I can in the time that I have. I'm going to go for as far as I can on a walk as I can with the time that I have left. And here it is. 26 fucking years. I've been waiting and wasting time waiting for the Dallas Cowboys to get their shit together. And here it is. We are fucking wasting our time waiting for Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones and crew to get their shit together while there's all that shit out there for us to experience. I'm getting tired of waiting. I'm running out of life. This shit hurts. We keep getting fed the same old bullshit and we just sit around and sit around and waste our fucking time. I'm getting tired of it, guys. I'm getting tired of it. I feel like being Simba and just going out there and spending every fucking minute that I can to enjoy myself. You know what sucks? I try to do exactly what Simba does every day. Every morning I wake up, I spend time with my wife in the bed next to me. She's like the sunshine rising in the morning. Every morning I look, I look at her and I say, baby, you're so beautiful. I love you. Mm-hmm. There's Simba. It used to be Simba laying there on his bed on the floor. Sometimes when Roscoe is up there too, when Michael's not in town, he's there with his girlfriend, Gina. And I'm so happy about Gina and Michael, and I so hope that that relationship is is real and works out for them perfectly. Because life is too damn short. But I get up, I go to work, I work, and I try and spend my day in service to the world. I love what I do. And I try and pack every minute in each day just like Simba going on that walk. Tonight, I ask you guys, remember, life is short. We don't know how much time we got. We don't. I might not be here tomorrow. But you need to pack in as much as you can each and every one of those days. And you need to make sure that everybody that you care about out there knows how you feel about them. And stop wasting time on fucking bullshit. Excuse me. I want to say mindless minutia. Actually, I think I said it right. I can't believe it. I think mindless minutia might be right. I don't know. But stop wasting your time on bullshit. Because there is a whole freaking world out there and a finite amount of time to enjoy it. And I'm tired of wasting time on stupid bullshit. That's what Simba taught me. You go out for that walk, you run and you go as far as you can. You enjoy the time that you have because it's going to be gone before you know it. And that's all I get to say, y'all. Make sure you tell somebody that you love that you love them tonight. Because you might not get that second chance. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.